Everyone, I'm Heba and I have an eyeshadow palette addiction. I bought the two new eyeshadow palettes from Dose of Colors and that's what this video is about. I'm still waiting on some things from Sydney Grace. I did buy the new eyeshadow palette by ColourPop. Scott Barnes had a sale and I'm hoping to get the new Tom Ford quad that will be in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And speaking of that, in my last video, the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale wish list, I mentioned that I didn't see the eyeshadow quad online, but later that night, it popped up. So yes, Nordstrom will be selling the Tom Ford quad and two mini lipstick sets. So yeah, I have an eyeshadow palette addiction. I, I can't help myself. When I saw these two new palettes from Dose of Colors, I thought, yeah, I gotta get those. And here they are right now. This one is called Cutting Edge and this one is Smoking Soiree. If you're not familiar with the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes, they are a palette with five shades in there and they're all mattes. And they're kind of color coordinated, like this one is one of my favorite ones. This is Baked Browns, Oops, the glare. And as you can see, it's all mattes in the brown family. I also have the Sassy Siennas and I believe Marvelous Mauves and there's also something berry and something cool, but they're all mattes. And what's different about the two new ones, they are a collection of mattes and metallics. Let me show you the ones that I'm wearing in my eye, cutting edge, and look at those, oops. <laughs> and look at those shades. So you have three mattes and two metallics. And here is Smork. And here is Smork. Smork, <laughs> I keep saying Smork. And here is Smork. Smork. Can I tell you how many times I've been saying smork? Okay, and here is this palette right here, Smoke Soiree. And I was wearing these shades in the anniversary sale wish list, and look at those shades. These retail for $32, and again, you have a collection of three mattes and two metallics. And also, it comes with a brush that I love. It's perfect to use underneath the eyes and to kind of pinpoint where you want the, the color. It comes one side fluffy and the other side a little bit more pointy. And they also have it color coordinated with the outside packaging, which is really nice. Kind of like the other palettes that they have. The Baked Browns is more brown and the Sassy Siennas is more orangey. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you. Let's start with Cutting Edge. Okay, as I was swatching these on my arm, I messed up with the names because on the back, first of all, I didn't know that they had shade names, but when I looked on the back, it's arranged like this, so I don't know if then the shade name is behind the shade or if it's going from left to right. I was reading it from left to right. So whatever shade name it was here, I was going it with this one, but it's not. It's behind the shade. So let's try this again. This one is edgy and it's a yellow green. Top it off is a gold yellow shimmer. Sundown is right because that's in the middle so it works both ways. So this one's Sundown, and that's a rusty brown. Rule Breaker is an olive green shimmer, and Cameo is a khaki green. So here are the shades of Cutting Edge. Now let's swatch this palette, Smoke, the Smoke, okay, the Smoke palette. This one's Fired Up, and it's a deep red brick. Now I have to admit the shimmers in the Smoke palette is not as pigmented as I thought it would be. I thought it looks more like a shadow topper but this one is new in town and it's a champagne shimmer. It's not very pigmented, but let me tell you on the lids, it looks beautiful. This shade here on the rocks, and this is a dark brown. Now this shade out and about, mm, it's beautiful on the lid, but it doesn't swatch very nicely here. And this is a gunmetal shimmer. Look, it did swatch nice, okay. And of course the last one is Midnight and this is a Jet Black. So let's put that one right there. Ooh. Here you have Cutting Edge and here is the Smoke Palette. I'm gonna call it the Smoke Palette. And look, it's still on my finger, wow. Forgot to mention that I did buy these off the Dose of Colors website and I believe it will come to Ulta sometime in the beginning of August, which is really good. So Ulta has a great rewards program. Let me go ahead and show you the looks and we'll start with the Smoke Palette and then we'll end off with the Cutting Edge Palette.
cannot wait to try this palette. And the palette that I'm talking about is this one by Dose of Colors, the Cutting Edge palette. I mean, look at the shades in here. Yeah, those are some pretty shades. I didn't notice this with the other palette, the Smoky Soiree palette, that it does have shade names in the back. But of course it's too small for my eyesight. So I think the first shade that I'm going to use is Cameo. Is this mustard shade right here. Going in with the Sonia G Detail Pro and let's just dip that once. Yep, it is powdery. Place that in the outer corner. And bringing that in my crease. It is showing up a little bit. Maybe I need a little bit more. I do know I need to get my eyebrows waxed. Now I'm going to go in with this middle shade, top it off, and using the Classic Crease by Sonia G. I do have to say that is a pretty color combo there. And bringing that out. I'm going to use the brush that comes with the palette and going in with this deep olive tone. I believe the name of it is Edgy. And I love using this brush to go underneath my eyes, but this time I'm going to use it to place this color on the outside corner V. To put it on the edge there. And this is a really nice brush because you can place the color precisely where you want it to be. I'm just going to deepen that out a little bit more. back with the middle shade and just kind of build the crease up a little bit more right there. Now I'm going to use the two metallic shades here. This one's called Rule Breaker and this one's called Top It Off. First I'm going to use Rule Breaker and using my finger and I'm going to place that in the outer. Wow, that's pretty. In the middle of my eye towards the outer corner of my eye. That is a pretty green. It does have some gold specks to it. I think I went a little too high up with this shade here. I'm going to try to blend that out. Ooh, I don't know if I can. Then using this gold shade and placing that in the inner corner of my eye towards the center of my eye. Just kind of meld those two metallic shades together there. Going back in with Edgy to deepen out the outer corner. Alright, let me finish putting the rest of my makeup on and I'll probably come back to show you the shades that I'm going to put underneath my eyes. So I'll be right back. Using the brush that it comes with, I'm going to go in with this shade Cameo and placing that underneath my lower lash line. And I'm also going to place this shade to Sundown. And then using the other side of the brush, the pointy in, and going in with the shade Edgy. And placing that in the outer corner of my lower lash line. And bringing that up to connect it from the top, at the top. Now let me finish putting the rest of my makeup on and do my hair. And here is the finished look with Cutting Edge, as you can see. I do have to say that these are nice palettes, and I do like the Dose of Color eyeshadows. They are very pigmented, they blend out very nicely, and they pretty much stay put for a long time. And I didn't see any difference with these two new palettes. The Cutting Edge palette, I love this color story. I think this will be beautiful for fall, or pretty much right now. These two shades on each end, they're kind of different. I don't think I have any shades that are similar to it. Like the mustard yellow and the olive green. Now the shade in the middle, I think I could find something similar to that. Let's see if it's like in my baked browns. Okay, this one here is the baked browns, and yeah, it is different. So I'm glad they didn't duplicate any of the shades. And also, I could probably find a gold in my collection, but this shade right here, the olive green shimmer, I mean, you could see it right here on my lid, and then with the gold right there. Now then this one, the smoke palette, I have to admit, I was a little, you know, a little scared of this palette, because when I opened it up and my husband saw it, and he goes, oh, that's a little dark. But then when I did the look with it, my husband came home and he said, you really like that look. And I told him it was the one you thought that was dark. And he was like, 
I like it. Here's baked browns and here's the smoke. And I wonder if those two are similar, the one on the end here and that one. Let me swatch these two. Okay, here's the one from baked brown. And then here's the one from smoke. Hmm, what do you think? All right, this one is a little bit cooler, has a little bit more gray tone to it where this is more red. But then when you put it on the lid, just the slight difference, probably can't see it. But with this color story, I guess it works well with that. I do have to say, I like these two palettes. And if you ask me which one I think is my favorite, I would have to go with this one, Smoke. I'm quite surprised that I like this one better than the Cutting Edge. I don't know, there was just something about this and the look that I did. It just looked like a real elegant, a date night type of a look. And yeah, even though when I looked at it and said, oh, that's maybe a little too dark, I like this one. That's not to say that I don't like this one, Cutting Edge. I like this one too, but I think if I really want a good, elegant date night look, I would go with Smoke. But this one's beautiful for fall. I think this one, the color story in this one, these two shades at the outer end are very pretty too. So yeah, I'm glad I got these two palettes. And yeah, and don't forget the brush. The brush is really nice with this too. So $32 for five shades, not bad. Now I have to wait for my Sydney Grace order to come in and also the ColourPop and Scott Barnes and then can't wait for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So yeah, I do have an eyeshadow palette addiction here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I know, I know, but they're so pretty. And if you're like me that loves to play with makeup, yeah, why not? <laughs> we can start our own support group, I guess. I guess we are our own support group. Instead of stopping each other, we enable each other. How about that? <laughs> We're bad. <laughs> and let me know, guys, if you want to see any eyeshadow looks with the palettes that I mentioned. That could be a lot of videos of eyeshadow palettes, but it kind of satisfies my addiction, I guess. I don't know. But anywho, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.